Hi there, welcome to this fourth video in my series on Sitecore 9.3, the latest version of the Sitecore Experience platform. In my previous video, we installed Sola 8.1.1. Now it's finally time to get started with the Sitecore 9.3 installation. Before we start, first a little thing about me. My name is Robert Hawk, and I'm a 10 times Sitecore MVP from the Netherlands. I'm looking forward that you will join me in this video. So let's go. In order to install Sitecore 9.3, we of course need a Sitecore license file. Let's copy it over and copy it over to the installation directory. So here we have it where all the SIF configuration files live. In this video, I assume that you have already set up an instance of SQL Server. For 9.3, that could be either SQL Server 2016, Service Pack 2, or Microsoft SQL Server 2017. With that in place, let's make some small adjustments to the XP0 single developer PowerShell script. Let's first of all change the prefix of our to be installed website and let's rename it to Sitecore 9.3. By default, the uh, Sitecore install root uh, points to C resource files. Let's change this into the current directory. And now the next thing that we need to do is adjust the solar root. We installed it at C solar solar 811. So we need to adjust it. And the last thing that we need to do is actually change uh, the SQL admin user. If you got your SQL server running on localhost. Let's change this to Sitecore underscore installer. And I have the SQL admin password as B <laughs> just for uh, fun. There is actually one thing that I forgot, and that is actually just the uh, Sitecore Solar port. So I just, in my previous video, I installed Solar on port 8984 because I had uh, Solar 750 running on uh, 8983. So with that in place, we're ready to go and to install Sitecore 9.3. Let's open up a PowerShell window. So let's change the directory to C project Psycho 9.3. And the only thing that we need to run is actually this uh, PowerShell uh, script, XP0 single developer. So XP0 single developer, make sure that you select the PowerShell script. With this in place, we can now run this PowerShell script that will install Sitecore 9.3. So let's go. Press enter. And the entire installation will take approximately 12 to 14 minutes. Uh, yeah, as you can see, it starts with identity server. We'll do XConnect services uh, later on, and then we'll actually install Psycho 9.3. Uh, we're not going to uh, <laughs> have this video run for like 12 to 14 minutes. So I'll forward this video now and uh, make sure to uh, come back when it's done. See you soon. So it took around 12 minutes to install Psycho 9.3. As you can see here, apparently I forgot to change the default Sitecore admin password to B, so Sif generated one for us. For local development, it might of course be easier to configure it to B. Let's copy over the password so we can log into Sitecore 9.3. So now let's open up the Sitecore 9.3 website. So let's go to HTTP Sitecore, uh, HTTPS Sitecore9.3.sc. And as you can see here, Sitecore has loaded. So now let's check out how we can log into Sitecore. And as you can see, Sitecore 9.3 reader will be redirected to Sitecore Identity Server to do the whole authentication. You can log in with admin 
and that copied over password. And that's it. Psycho 9.3 has been installed. Make sure to watch my next video where we're going to install Psycho Horizon, the new interface that represents the future of user experience on the Psycho Experience platform. Thank you for watching.